to purchase your Mother's Day gift for your mother yet, you may want to get moving or you may want to do something a little different, like pampering your special lady, your special one, the special mother in your life with a homemade meal. And we're talking about breakfast. That's just what 12 year old Isabel Story is going to be doing this Sunday morning for her mother, Rachel. They are joining us right now in the Fox 32 studio today to whip up a quick dish for us. Isabel, Rachel, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank she you. Is, you have a beautiful daughter, so it doesn't surprise thank me you. that instead of going out and just buying you something, she wants to pamper you. This is just a really special. Oh, <laughs> look, what are we making today, Isabel? We are making a strata. A strata? Yeah. Okay, and show us what's going on. Let's whip it up. Uh, so the first, you're going to start with having your loaf of bread cut up into different pieces and you put it in your buttered pan. Okay, so did you break these pieces up or can you buy the bread just um, like you that? You can buy it cut, but you have to toast it for seven to eight minutes first. You have to toast it and you line this with butter, your pan with butter. Yes. Okay. So afterwards, you put your cubed ham in. And of course, you can use turkey ham too, right? <laughs> if you don't eat ham. Yeah. Okay. And how long have you been cooking? You got this down to a science. Yeah, I've been cooking since a young age, but not nearly as much as now. Twelve, and she's been cooking since a young age. <laughs> okay. And you like cooking for your yes, mom? Yes, I or, love cooking. Or cooking for your family as well? Yeah. Okay, so you just put the ham on, and what else goes on then? So you'll boil asparagus in salted water for uh, two to three minutes. And get it nice and tender? Yeah, and then you'll put it in cold water, and then you'll put it on top. And this is amazing that you like asparagus. Do you like asparagus? Really, yes, or is this something that your mom likes? No, I really like asparagus. I actually like all vegetables. Good, good for you, Isabel. That's why you're so uh, energetic and just a pretty little girl there, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so the asparagus, the ham. Yeah, so then you'll make a mixture of four eggs, one and one fourth cups of cream, and one and three fourths cup of milk. And I think it was two eggs, right, Isa? No, two. Okay. Okay, mommy. It was it was four I guess eggs, I was not two. <laughs> and okay. you add a teaspoon of tarragon, okay. a teaspoon of salt, and one fourth teaspoon of pepper, and you mix it in. Now you're making this for your family. Have you made it for a group, a bigger group of people, and you um, use I, a little bit more? I usually make it for my family. Okay, good. Good, and mom, this is amazing. I mean, you now you know what she's going to be doing for yeah. you for Mother's Day. Exactly. But she's got a special school. You you've helped her she's... learn this recipe, and you've you've gone over it a couple of times. Yeah. But she's got a good school, and they teach her a whole lot there. They do. She goes to Care Valley Montessori, and part of the Montessori philosophy is um, learning practical life skills. So. Um, Starting from when Isabel was three in school, she would learn to prepare snacks at school. Okay. Um, and they really encouraged us to teach them to help us at home. So we'd have a stool in the kitchen from the time she was three, and she would help cook. And so she's Miss Independent over here, huh? <laughs> so do you still make your own lunch then? Uh, yes, I've made my own lunch since first grade. Since first grade. And in fact, for Thanksgiving, I had to work on Wednesday, and I came home and she had made four pies. For, so she made really? all the pies for Thanksgiving. So do you like cooking? Do you think maybe? I, do like I mean, do you like chef shows out there and do you think you'll go into something with the, the food industry, the culinary world? I don't know. I really like cooking, but I don't know if I'd consider do it as a profession. Okay, but you know you'll be able to cook for your family yes. one day. Okay, now let's, so you walked us through this. You've thrown in the ingredients and some cheese. Yes, yeah, so it's Gruyere cheese and you have to pour half of your mixture on top. And then you layer it one more time with the same ingredients. Okay, kind of like lasagna. Yes, exactly. Good deal. A little bit more ham and a little bit more asparagus and some more cheese. Yes, definitely. On top of that, you like it cheesy. Yeah, it's really good. I like really it cheesy good. too. And can you use like um, cheddar cheese or does it have to be the white cheese um, because it, it blends in with everything else? Yeah, I'd say it blends in well, but I suppose you could. I've never tried doing it with cheddar cheese. Okay, just because on TV we're running out of time, let's show us the finished product here. So we're going to pop it in the oven, <laughs> wink, wink, and then you're going to pull it out and look at that. Can we show everybody at home? I'm going to put this up. This is what it looks like. This is the finished product right here. Which camera do you want me on? Oh, good deal. Right here. I think from here. <laughs> Isabel, your dish looks lovely and it's Thank still you. warm. It is still warm. It sure is. <laughs> and Rachel, I'm not joking. It's still warm. <laughs> Rachel and Isabel Story, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Can people find this recipe on our website or on, do you have a website, the school website or something? It'll be on the school's school, website. Yes. And what, yeah. what is your website address? It is www.carevalley.org. Thank okay. you so much for joining us this thank morning. You. And happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you. Still ahead on this Friday on Fox 32 News, it's home.